Your power tool uses a basic toggle switch that breaks one side of the circuit. After thousands of cycles and years of use, the switch will wear out. Testing for a bad switch can be easily done using a multimeter. Replacing the switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear motor cover. With the motor cover removed, now I'll remove the strain relief. The wiring assembly is connected to the terminal block. I'll go ahead and remove it. Now remove the two black wires from the back of the switch. With the wires removed, I can pull the switch away from the terminal block. Now I can install the new switch. You'll notice there's a couple of grooves milled on either side of the switch. These will determine the proper orientation of the switch. If it doesn't easily fit one way, just turn it around. Then I'll reconnect the wires. And then install the strain relief and secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the terminal block. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's all it takes to replace the switch in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.